Hello and welcome to another You Attend by Chronologic YouTube tutorial. My name is James and I am part of the support team for the You Attend system. Today we will be covering how to add in accrual balances and rates for employees. An accrual balance is essentially what their annual leave entitlement is. Um, it could also mean the rates that we set for how much holiday they are allowed to earn whilst they work. So the first things first is I would like to show you how to put in their annual leave entitlement for the whole year. So the first things first is I'm using my company name, which is just my test account that I've created, and I am logged in today as the administrator. A supervisor could also do this with the relevant permissions, but I'm in today as the, the administrator, as they are the default uh, access all areas profile. So we need to go to users to add in the accrual balances. So we're now heading over to users. And obviously only employees can clock and take holiday. So we need to click the employee, which is James Test. And then we need to go to employee services on the right hand side there. Okay. Right. So now that we are on here, uh, what we need to do, first of all, is we need to make sure that their benefit accrual is visible. We only need to do this once for every employee. So if we click the grey edit, you will see here display benefit accrual allows employee to view accrued benefit hours on the time card. This also allows you as an administrator and supervisor to see it as well. So you must enable this first of all. Very important. So we'll set that to yes, save it. Yes, it's now been set and just cancel out of there and you can see it at the top here. Yes. So that is the first thing you do. You only need to do this once for that particular employee and then it's done. Let's get to setting annual leave. We need to go to this accrual box here and click view and edit. So we can actually put in accruals uh, for all types of benefits that we have. So we have annual leave, which is what we'll be doing today. Some companies have a sickness accrual. Uh, so certain companies uh, may only offer a certain number of days per year that they will pay you. Everything else is uh, SSP uh, or something like that. And lastly, other is a different type of accrual uh, that you can use for absolutely anything. All right. So we're going to use AL today, which is annual leave. So the date here is a little calendar box. If you click that, we need to put in the number of hours that an employee will have for the year. So we're putting in the start date of when your annual leave period started. So my annual leave started on the 1st of January. Most do, some do it in April. And in here, we need to put in the starting balance. Now, normally this would be days. So, you know, when you're looking at a job or you're given a job contract, uh, it will be stipulated that you will have uh, 20 days holiday per year to take as paid annual leave. In you attend, we do not do days, it is all in hours. So that's a very key thing to remember. So we need to do hours. And the way you can work this out is a very simple calculation. All you need to find out is how many hours you work a day normally. So, um, you know, you could work eight hours a day multiplied by the number of days holiday you get. So if we took the 20 days example and you got 20 times 8, that would give you your calculation. I'm just going to put in the hours here. So I get 160 hours myself. And it's got to be 160.00. Okay. And that is the amount of holiday I will get starting from the first of the first, which will run for the entire year. Save and close. And you can see now the starting balance has been given. 
and we can check this by clicking time cards going to James test and just if I hit the recalculate now you can see that I have 160 hours accrued it tells you how many I have used up to this current pay period and how many I have available up to this current pay period. So that is how to put in an accrual balance for the entire year. Some staff, uh, particularly maybe zero hour staff or some people that are on slightly different contracts, uh, they have to earn uh, holiday whilst they work. There is a way we can do this. But first of all, if we go to settings, we will need to increase the accrual rounding for this specific occasion. So I'm going to set it in ten thousandths rather than hundreds. Save that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to users. And let's just pretend we use we use James test again. And it's back to employee services. Again, accrual, view and edit. So I put in that I have a starting balance of 160 because that's how much I would get. Let's just pretend now that instead James Test has to earn whilst he works. So the normal UK rate is the following for holiday 0 0.1207, and then it's per hour for every one hour work. We can also, if you want, you can cap this. So a cap is essentially uh, if employees were working a lot of hours, uh, it may actually be possible that they could earn more than someone who was on a standard 20 day annual leave contract to earn. So you could cap this at 160 hours. So you could say the employees will not be able to earn more than 160 hours for the entire year. OK. Just make sure that you've got that in there. Save and close. And there you go. If I go to time cards, back to James test. As you can see, it is still picking up the previous hours that I was given. So you must always hit recalculate if you're making any changes to these kinds of balances. So recalculate. Now it's disappeared because I haven't worked anything. So let me just add in some examples, some dummy examples. So let's just say on Monday I did nine till five. And on Tuesday, I did nine till six. Recalculate. You can now see that based on what I have worked here, the eight hours, the nine hours, I have earned 0 0.1207 for every hour that I've worked. So at the moment, I am entitled so far to two hours and three minutes worth of annual leave based on the calculation that we've got and the rounding that you attend. Thanks for listening. I hope you have found this video useful. Remember to like this video by clicking the thumbs up and subscribe for more content. You can find out more information on how to get in touch with us in the video description down below.